Hello, VTubers. Welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets. Again, joined by Jakob the Lord of Wolves. This is the last beer we're going to review today uh, during Ulus Day. And this is a beer they have on tap at uh, Dun Blue Pub. Yeah. And it's their like special for Ulus Day. And it's a collaboration between Stillwater and McKellar. And this is the McKellar version made here in Denmark at Fanny Volkus. And this is the McKellar Stillwater uh, Rauchstahl. It's a smoked barley wine on 10.8% alcohol, so it's a huge beer. Uh, they did the collab way, uh, the first time they did the collab, it was, I think it was brewed in the States, I'm not completely sure, but it was like Stillwater's version of it. And yeah. um, the label was like kind of cool because it was well themed. Mm -hmm. But this is the new one, the McKellar themed one, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, as you got it poured here, and it's a pretty much a black-ish color. If yeah. you hold it up to the light, you get some kind of murky mm -hmm. coloration. Brown-ish notes. Got a little bit of a nice tan head. We, as you see, we've been drinking on it. Um, big beer, uh, but the aroma on it. Smoked malt. This, yeah. the, and the, it's got that meaty smoke. And the meaty smoke is, I think, salami? Yeah. It smells like a salami. And some uh, smoked kind of bacon as well. Mm. Uh, or uh, you know that Italian kind of uh, Italian smoked ham? Yeah, 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 prosciutto ham or whatever. Yeah, uh, but also a lot of dark fruit. I get a decent amount of dark fruits on there. Um, <coughs> it's got it's got that really barley, big barley wine sweetness mm. with the dark fruits and the toffee caramel notes, but also some toasted roasted maltiness, which yeah. is yeah. You, know, you see the color. Um, well, I've always had a little hard time defining barley wine, but yeah. Yeah. Um, some of that generic dark berry, uh, but it smells really nice. It also almost has that Bassett's wine gum yeah. kind of quality to it. And a little bit of coffee. But really nice smoke and component. And some caramel, dark yeah. caramel note to it as well. But really nice meaty smoke component. This would be great in a barrel age, I mean, just, yeah. just from smelling the aroma. Do you want to get a taste? It would be great with a steak of some sort. Yeah. But, uh, cheers. 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 Really nice full mouth feel. Yep. Uh, creamy. It's not a beer for everyone if you don't like smoked beers and you like big sweet beers. Because it's a mix of smoke and sweet. It's got a real solid sweetness um, on that sugary almost kind of sweetness with the dark fruity notes. Uh, caramel toffee. But the first flavor you get is like you get some of the sweetness and what lingers is the smoke. Yeah, it, it kind of fades over with that smokiness and just lingers for a while. Uh, yeah. And the last thing you have in the mouth is kind of that. Smoke. Smoke the, the and bitterness. Yeah, it's like that charcoaly or woody kind of smoke, but it still has a lot of that meaty flavor too. Yeah, it's got, and again, salami is what I think, or it's like a yeah. smoke hand. Yeah. Not too much bacon smoke, but more of the smoked sausage or uh, salami. <laughs> um, but really nice with the dark fruits. It's got that Bassett wine gum kind of flavor. Yeah, the sweetness as well. Bassett sweetness. Yeah, some like dark cherry maybe in there too. Yeah, and it's kind of sweet. It's almost got like a light touch of. Vanilla or something. Mm. It's a pretty interesting, I mean, it's a big sweet beer, being 10.8. You can't taste the alcohol whatsoever. No. I mean, the sweetness completely hides it. No burn. Uh, really well done in that sense. Extremely drinkable, but yeah. it's still a sipper. It's not a mind blower. Oh. Not the best smoke beer I've ever had, but it's really interesting. This I, and a, I really this like is, it. This is a solid beer. Yeah. I'd really like to try the I'm, other I'm, version, I'm, the still water version, too. <laughs> Don't you think it's the same? Oh, no, it's different recipes. I oh. checked it out before oh. we did the review. Uh, but rating-wise, for me, I'm actually gonna go 90 on this. I think this is great. Uh, if you like smoked beers, you know, guys, I'm a fan of smoked beers, and both of us like sweet beers. So yeah, 90. I think this is really good. I'm, I'm a fan of smoked beers as well, and this is a straight up great beer, as you said. And I'm really fond of the bottle wines too. Sweet, dark, kind of the darker bottle wines. I know some of the uh, fullers. Nails are defined as body wines, but I don't think they are. But nevertheless, this is a 90 beer as well. Sorry, and this smoke just lingers on forever, which is nice <laughs> if you like yeah. it. So, definitely a great beer to check out. So, definitely let us know what you think of the uh, McKellar Still Water Rauchsta if you've had it. And also, get some, let us uh, give us some feedback on the uh, Still Water version. Oh, well, feel medium. Well, I said fuller side of medium. Full, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, definitely let us know what you think of the brew if you've had it, especially if you've had the still water version. It would be nice to compare. hear and compare how that is. So yeah, 90 for both of us for the still water, or McKellar still water, Aufstar. 
definitely check this one out if you can get it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're gonna say cheers. We're gonna see you guys in another beer review.